how to make decisions and use a decision-making process. When was the last time you made a decision? It was probably actually when you decided to click on the link to watch this. So what decision-making process did you use? How much time did you think about it? One way or another, you experienced the decision-making process, and that was one of perhaps hundreds of decisions you've made already today. So what is decision-making? Put simply, a decision is a choice, a choice between alternatives made after consideration. And a decision-making process is the sequence of steps you go through to make that choice. Decision-making is a process, and whether we are conscious of the process or not, we are faced with a multitude of decisions to make every day. Researchers at Cornell University have shown that we make over 200 decisions a day on food alone. This number of decisions, coupled with the large amount of choice we face, can lead to what's known as analysis paralysis. To avoid this paralysis of analysis, we often rely on heuristics, simple decision-making tools or rules of thumb to help us make informed decisions. For example, in the supermarket, we might always pick up one particular brand of product so we don't have to give it too much thought. This can be an effective heuristic to help us save time, ensure quality or save money. Some decisions are relatively unimportant. For example, when playing a board game, we have to choose who goes first. A simple heuristic, such as flipping a coin or rolling a dice, can be effective. Other decisions are much more important, such as the choice of our future partner, career, or making large purchases such as buying a property. We may not want to flip a coin or roll a dice to make these decisions. This is where a good decision-making process can help. Decision-making processes can help us step back from our situation and give time to make the choice more objectively. Decision-making processes also seek to identify the stages needed to make a decision so we can follow through the choice in a logical manner. Probably the most simple decision-making process is expressed in the OODA loop. OODA stands for Observe, Orientate, Decide and Act. This decision-making cycle was developed by Colonel John Boyd, a US fighter pilot who studied decision-making in dogfights and was at the Top Gun School in the United States. This is an easy to remember process that highlights the absolute essentials of decision-making. Commonly, decision-making is broken down into a seven-step process. One, analyze the problem and outline the goal. Two, gather data and consider factors. Three, Develop alternative courses of action. Four, consider the advantages or disadvantages of each alternative. Five, make the decision. Six, implement the decision. Seven, learn from the decision. This process then becomes a cycle. We learn from our last decision and the actions we took and take that experience into our next choice. There are lots of different examples of decision-making tools available that can help you through these kind of processes. If you'd like more on these tools, then just click on the link and head over to the website, which is www.therightquestions.co. And if you found this helpful, please do like and subscribe. Thanks for listening.